And we're on live, and I think we're on time, too. This is insane. Oh, wow. I know. It's 8.36. This is insane. Awesome. Well, welcome, 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 everybody. And first of all, I am, you know, first of all, I'm honored to co-host such amazing hangout. Uh, well, not a hangout, actually. It's a, it's, a, it's a training for once. And uh, I'm co-hosting this amazing, the most badass training that I've ever had a chance to attend, and uh, better yet, I'm co-hosting with this amazing friend of ours and amazing genius, uh, Boris, who is underground, has been underground, yes, that's you, I'm talking about you, dude, sir, so he's underground, guys, we dig them up, we dig them out all the way, washed me himself, yes, just like a mole, you know, he's been digging, digging, digging the holes uh, all these years, and now he's coming back, you yeah, know, no, to, I, to the Mother Earth. And, uh, I got it, I got it. So, yes, yeah, so you're going to have to mute that stuff, yeah. Boris. Uh, <laughs> welcome, you know. welcome, 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 Are you good? And first of all, Boris, I... there, we there go. you go. Sorry. Good, good, good. So let me, uh, once again, guys, um, uh, I'm very much so uh, honored to be here co-hosting this um, training that has been going on for the past three days. You know, we started it on Tuesday. We continued yesterday, which was Wednesday. We're going to uh, conclude this amazing training, which we've had so many uh, different uh, amazing feedbacks uh, from so many of you that reached out to me, that reached out to Boris, they reached out to Alex. Guys, I cannot describe to you how amazing it is to feel that this mastermind that Alex, Boris, and I put together literally on Tuesday morning is here right now with you. So I'm extremely honored to bring you the man, the myth, the legend, the Boris, the underground yes. nin ninja, online marketer. As just what he has on his title. So, guys, let me, please, Boris, take it away. Thank you, Anna. That's a uh, thank you. That's that's a he heck of a uh, reputation to live. Uh, it's not a reputation. It's the title that you own in it right now. All right, <laughs> take it. All right, cool. Um, I don't know what what we're supposed to be doing today, really. So, I I appreciate everybody getting here. Um, it's really cool, but um, I'm not ready. So let's move this thing. Maybe till tomorrow. How does that sound? No? All right. Um, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Um, in order to communicate with us, you are more than welcome to uh, type in the um, comments or questions inside the Facebook chat, I think, and we'll get to it as soon as we have a chance, and that's usually at the end. As Anna also mentioned, we're going to give away a really awesome bonus when I had my uh, first, uh, I guess, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Anyway, when I got this information uh, a while back for the first time, I was absolutely blown away. It's just killer. I love it. Hope you love it, too. Um, it certainly will give you an edge like there's nothing else out there over the competition and able to help you rank much, much better. Okay? So today, before we get into it, um, I'll give you a quick, uh, I guess, summary, overview of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be covering YouTube optimization, okay? What that means is the actual video that we've created over the last two days that we've also covered and uh, uh, described for you guys how to do that step by step needs to get optimized, needs to get set, uh, basically um, set with keywords inside the YouTube account, which is where your uh, YouTube video is going to be sitting when you host a live Google Hangout. Okay? So we're going to go in there. I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do in order to optimize it and make it um, just absolutely powerful beyond anything that's out there, which will help you not only get up there, but also solidify your place uh, on the first page and hopefully the first three positions uh, if you play the game right. Right? Okay. So to summarize what we've done so far is we've covered um, what it takes to rank your videos on not only pages of YouTube, page one of YouTube, but also uh, first page of Google. Uh, we've done so uh, a little quicker than we anticipated. Um, we've, I mean, we basically told you guys that we're going to rank on page one of YouTube only in three days. We kind of did that in 90 seconds. So uh, that was uh, a little faster 
right? The, because on day three, we were going to go over and show you results, which we'll do anyway. However, they were ready pretty early. So we nuked this thing into, into page one of not only YouTube, but also Google. Um, so that's been the, that's what we have been doing in the last two days and explaining to you, of course, how to do it, right, step by step. So today we're going to take this even deeper. We're going to go in, into the trenches and optimize the YouTube video that you will generate. Now, if you've gotten an email from me, um, this is just before we get started, you also know that I've uh, basically asked for uh, if anybody has taken any action based on what we've already uh, taught in the last two days. If you have, it will be great if you guys sh uh, share it with us on the uh, Facebook chat below this video. Um, and we'll definitely take a look at it and because I'd love to hear success stories. And because of the speed of implementation that this method produces, I'm pretty sure you could be there, you know, an hour after you are done with uh, the Hangout, whether it's yesterday or today, whatever the case may be. Okay. So that's pretty much the uh, overview of what we've been doing. Let's jump into um, overview of we're gonna, what we're going to be doing today which is, like I said, YouTube optimization. Basically, before you, uh, before that uh, video gets even, you know, after the Hangout is over, before it's supposed to be out there and getting to pages one, which in our case was a very small 90-second window, which could happen to you as well. Uh, so if that's the case, you obviously have to do it after the 90 seconds. And if, it's, if, you, if you're not on page one, you have more time. So, you know what, instead of me talking into the camera, let me share my screen. Screen share, and I'll walk you through this thing. Share. All right, Anna, let me know when you see it, just so, because I'm not seeing the screen anymore. Um, so let me know when you see my screen. No, I can't. Uh, um, you kind of froze up, and uh, your screen looks black, black, completely pitch black. Check, oh, no, <laughs> Check your camera. Yeah. All right, so you should be able to see something. Let's see. Hold on. Oh. Are you seeing anything? Nothing yet. Mm -hmm. No, we just love technical difficulties. I know, I love them too. You see <laughs> me now, right? I see you now, but you know the funny thing is, on that toolbox underneath where you see me talking or yourself, do you see yourself? Yeah. Down, down under. Yeah. You do. I do. Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, well, it's supposed to, actually it's supposed to be black when you are. And uh, speaking, so uh, try that again. All right, hang on one second. Someone is saying that she cannot. Elvira cannot see Boris. I do not see Boris. Only you. They can see only me, but they cannot see you. <laughs> well, that's good, guys. You you're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> let me try this. All right, again, let me know if you see it. All right. This is black again? Well, it kind of froze up, so I'll give it one second. Okay. Still black, huh? Uh, still frozen, actually. Oh, someone is telling me that they can see you now. They can see me, okay. But All right, hold on. Wait.
Alright. Can you see um, me? I see you. Oh, you don't see my screen, okay. I cannot see your screen. Um, hold on a second, let me try something else. Alright. Now I see a picture. Yeah, I... I turn turned on the camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, well... Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, well, in the meantime, guys, first of all, I, uh, while Boris is experienced in these technical difficulties, mm -hmm. I'd like to say that um, you guys are rocking uh, for sticking around with us once again for these three, uh, this is the third day of this amazing training. Uh, I have uh, listened and actually I watched it uh, from the beginning to the end a couple of times just so you know it sets in in my brain and you know while watching any sort of training whether it was Boris's training or uh, Vic's training or Dave's Wood training or anybody else's training that I attend to uh, I make sure to make I don't know like today I finished a training and I've calculated I made like at least 15 pages of notes so that's that's what I do, guys. And when I do make notes, and if I need to go back to look at them, that's what I do. And uh, and uh, the notes that I make, and I specifically like sometimes like I would abbreviate them, and sometimes like I would uh, extend extend the sentence and explain to myself what it is, what it what, what it is that I need to understand. So that way it sets in in my brain, and that way um, I'm visualizing what I wrote. And I kind of remember it, so I don't have to go back to the notes. So, um, but that's what I wanted to tell you about this particular training or any sort of training that I have attended. And uh, in the meantime, um, what else, um, Boris? Yeah, I'm here. I'm basically trying to get into the Hangout from another computer. So I see. All right. So give me one second. Yep, yep, yep. You know, we don't deal with a lot of technical, technical difficulties. I know, right? I mean, this is that's, the funniest thing ever. Yep, that's that's what we do. And you know what? In the meantime, like I said, uh, while I'm setting this whole thing up, and hopefully we'll be able to share everything, do me a favor. If you have taken action so far, uh, please go ahead and put it in the chat and tell us your experience and tell us your uh, basically story, what has happened thus far. <laughs> And what have you been able to get? Have you even uh, attempted to create a video and get yourself uh, on, you know, on YouTube and basically use the methods that we described? Okay, so. Let's mute the other. Mute something. Yeah. <coughs> Mute. Hi, <laughs> right, how's this? It's horrible. <laughs> I'm like, this is, I am your father. <laughs> Enough of that. How about now? That's perfect now. All right, cool. Okay, let's see. Where are we? We are supposed to get into uh, the document, so let me try to do that again. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Any updates, Boris? Uh, this is fun times, guys. I'm going to tell you that um, 
<clears throat> off topic. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> uh, off topic. I'm I'm looking forward to the holidays. That's what I'm gonna say. Off topic here. And uh, holidays brings a lot of joy, a lot of happy moments, as we uh, get to travel to family. Family get to travel to us, and I'm sure you guys will do the same. Even though it's irrelevant to this particular subject, where we gathered here tonight. But while Boris is getting his, um, I don't know, three or four computers uh, into <laughs> getting this Google to work to share the documents, um, Boris, do you want to send me the document? Maybe I could share it with everybody, and you'll be speaking from it. Whatever makes you happy, darling. I'll be uh, happy to help you. But. Um, uh, what else? I'm looking forward to so many different things. Alex and I have been uh, on a beast mode ready uh, this week. Alex and I have been learning mode, actually. Not a beast mode, but I wanted to say learning mode. Uh, since Monday, we actually went into like this hibernation, and we went to learning mode. We pulled up uh, so many different trainings, and including Boris's training, obviously. And uh, it's, it's, it's been a fun, 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 fun ride. Boris, are you there, darling? I am. So, what's I'm, happening? Um, I'm actually uh, back to the old the moment. So, all right. Here. What? What was that? I said I'm a little naked at the moment, so be careful. All right. Watch your eyes, guys. <laughs> Come on. Are you there, Morris? You kind of frozen again. No. Oh. Insane, right? <laughs> what what are you doing, man? Trying to all right. Here we go. I'm gonna try to share a screen now. All right, try. Do your best of doing it. All right, let me know when you see it. All right, now we're getting somewhere already. Hallelujah. All right, I see you. All right, great. So give me one second. All right. Let's see where we are. All right, there we go. You guys see it? I see it. Go for it. Just maximize it. Awesome. Perfect. All right, so this is just a overview. And while we're here, uh, of course, we have to have all kinds of uh, issues with uh, video because otherwise it's no fun. This is uh, done on purpose, by the way, just so you know, um, just to keep you guys... Uh, in this thing. But anyway, off we go. So this is the video optimization checklist. This is what we'll be sending to you guys as a bonus. This is basically a step-by-step -step, um, strategy of how you can literally you uh, optimize your YouTube video. Uh, and as I mentioned, when I actually got this and utilized this, this was uh, incredible. I've gotten amazing results uh, from this thing and I have done you know nothing more than just kill it with the exact step by steps and I'll be sharing this with you as well okay so let me actually jump out of here to the internet and we'll go uh, step by step using these exact methods so one second. all right so I'm gonna go back into my account into uh, the account where you'll find the video which we've created on day one. And by the way, while we're here, before we go into YouTube, uh, into the video, if we go to Google, and I don't want to log out, but you guys can do this on your own. You know what? Let me open a different browser. And I'll make it much simpler. All right, so YouTube, oops, Google. All right, I'm not signed in. 
Now I'm going to write the keyword that we have been trying to rank since day one, YouTube Ranking Blueprint, and show you guys that not only do we rank uh, on page one, number one, and then number two, and then number three, and then number four, um, but we also basically got uh, this thing here. Um, and like I said, this is, uh, this is an email, actually, that was sent out. It's funny, but even that got ranked. Um, the bottom line is we got one, two, three, four, five out of ten listings on page one, and I haven't even touched what we're going to be covering today, which is YouTube optimization, right? Um, it's basically uh, going to take it to the next level. It's going to solidify it in these positions, and, of course, it's also going to give us all kinds of other combinations, like ranking blueprint and all that good stuff. Uh, Boris, yeah. Boris, let me interrupt you for just a second. So uh, someone just advised me that this particular presentation is not on a big screen and it's only where our images are shown in Gravatar. So um, uh, do you, I, I'm actually not... I, that's the first time I'm coming across an issue like that. Do you know how to fix this? All right, so hold on a second. This presentation is not on the main screen. It's not. It's on where my picture is on the bottom, or your picture, if you will. I got you. Okay. Um, hang on one second. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Double-click on Gravatar, and uh, that should, like, just select your picture, I guess. Right? Select my picture? Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. No, uh, on the Google Hangout. You're going to have to, yeah. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Better? Let's see. All right. Continue. Let's, well, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me make sure this thing goes on. All right, hold on. Boris, you may proceed, please. All right, so everybody can see my screen? Yes, we're good, we're good. All right, fantastic. So uh, basically, I am in YouTube. I'm going to go back to Google just in case because I don't know if you guys seen it or not. I'm going to type in what we were trying to rank, which is YouTube Ranking Blueprint, which is the name of this training, right? And as you can see, one, two, three, four, and if we scroll down, this is five. This is one of the emails that was sent out. Um, and basically, five out of ten on the keyword that we tried to rank um, is not bad at all on page one of Google. And four of the five are the first four. Okay? So basically, the idea here is, remember, guys, we actually, two days ago, three days ago, I should say, Alex, Anna, and I got together and decided to do this on a whim, so to speak, right, just very randomly, and that's what uh, the first training was all about. There was no presentation, per se. Uh, we just decided to share unbelievable content with um, everybody who's on the list and everybody who got invited to it, and basically, there was no time to do anything, even if we wanted to. So we picked the name of the training, and that's what we decided to rank, and the actual video of day one training was, of course, what we were ranking, right? And this is where we are three days later. Not only did we rank it 90 seconds after the uh, Hangout was over, but we have five positions out of 10 on Google in three days, and we haven't done anything except create these Google Hangouts. So um, you can actually see with this alone how powerful Google Hangouts are for the purposes of SEO when it comes to the new way of doing SEO, right? The social uh, backlinks and all that good stuff, uh, which we have done. We, uh, we have had social book, uh, bookmarks, which I spoke about yesterday extensively uh, for each of these videos. So, I mean, there's, like I said, there's several ways of doing it. When you just start out, it's going to take you a little bit of time. However, um, I started this thing and I tested this thing extensively quite some time ago and uh, for me in the way that I do things uh, it takes me about 20 minutes, 15 minutes and that's per video 
um, in order, I'm not talking about the actual video itself, you know, when I'm speaking in it, but uh, in order to do the work, in order to make sure that it ranks. So you can imagine if you actually put your time into it uh, and come back to the video and backlink it, let's say, once or twice a week um, with various backlinks, again, that I spoke about extensively yesterday, uh, you, you can imagine what you can accomplish in terms of the different keywords, the different uh, combination of keywords, and essentially and eventually uh, a prime keyword as well, right? Which is so, for example, um, if I wanted to rank for YouTube ranking, um, I would obviously go about different long tail keywords YouTube ranking blueprint, uh, YouTube ranking on page one, page one ranking on YouTube, and all kinds of combinations. I would go for long tail in a massive way which would help me uh, bring up my prime keyword, which let's say was YouTube ranking if I chose to do so. Okay, so that's basically the strategy. Now, once we've done what we've done uh, yesterday and the day before that, uh, we're basically, we want to go back inside the YouTube account. We want to go inside that video and we want to optimize it. And by the way, here's a beautiful, beautiful, example of what I was speaking about yesterday and still am talking about today. As you can see inside my uh, YouTube account from where this hangout is happening, you can see this video right here. It says live now and it says 26 minutes ago and blah blah blah. Bottom line is that this thing is already in YouTube. It has been in YouTube since the moment that I've created this uh, hangout even before it went live. And that's what YouTube and Google do. Um, and this is, again, all, all the things that I've covered yesterday, why and how this stuff works. So be sure to check out day two of three uh, where you'll find all those details. However, we're not interested in this video right now because it's still live. We're going to go to, say, video one, um, and we're going to go through the steps of what's called YouTube optimization, if I can just find that stuff as well. Give me a second. There we go. So I'm going to keep jumping back and forth. So you want to go inside your, and, you know, free. Yeah. Hey, Boris, what's going on? Looking good, by the way. Um, so basically, uh, you want to go inside your YouTube account, and you want to go inside your video, okay? Then you want to go inside your video manager, right? And then you want to click edit right here, next to the uh, um, video that you're looking to optimize, and this is where your work is going to be done, okay? So there's a bunch of places where we can actually optimize this thing. Now, depending on what you're doing, and guys, I may go a little bit faster than is comfortable for some of you, and the reason is I want to cover a lot of ground and because this is being recorded, you are welcome to go back to it later and do you know watch it at your own speed and do whatever you want with it. But and in addition to that, the bonus that I promised, which is this PDF, which to me is absolutely uh, amazing in terms of what it helps you do, um, you'll be able to do it on your own, step by step with me in this video as your guidance. Okay, so I'm just going to go through these steps, and hopefully it'll be easy enough to follow. Uh, today, but if not, you're more than welcome to re-watch this thing, uh, re-watch this Hangout uh, again. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of stuff. It may feel a little bit overwhelming, but uh, just, you know, like I said, hang on, and uh, we'll, we'll get through it, and then you'll be able to watch it um, at, yeah, at your own speed. So basically, one second. We, so we're starting here. Your title is exactly what you've named your Hangout, which gets completely kind of sucked in into your video, right? And then your description, unless you have a description um, uh, inside your Hangout, um, is going to be exactly what your title is. So that's probably one of the first things that we're going to want to redo, okay? So let's see. Before you upload, write your keyword into your script two or three times. Okay. Very, very, very good point. <clears throat> This is actually a very um, good ninja tactic, for the lack of a better word. Okay, I'm going to jump ahead of myself. 
uh, because this is very important. When you do a video, even if it's a live hangout, if you truly wanted to give if that video a, an, an absolute killer edge, what you're going to want to do is transcribe this video. Now, YouTube, thankfully, has a uh, way to do this automatically. It's not perfect. You can do it separately, but it's in there. If you go to uh, above your video, you'll see several links, five to be exact. And if you click on CC captions, this is where you see this um, transcription, if you will. So you'll be able to, uh, what YouTube does is it, it, it transcribes everything you say by itself uh, using a robot. And what you can do is, see, there it is. This is the transcription. I haven't touched it, by the way, since that first day when we uh, did the actual Hangout. I haven't touched anything. This is the first time I'm going into this video. And as you can see, YouTube transcribed this thing for me uh, on their own. And for some reason, it's stuck. Hang on one second. Too many things going on, huh? Let's try to wait. Anyway, I'll keep talking while this thing uh, tries to load. So, for, uh, basically, YouTube uh, transcribed this thing for me automatically. And obviously, because it's a robot, there's many issues with it. Um, there's going to be many, many mistakes. So, what you want to do is you want to go in there and you want to go. Uh, you know, part every every part by part and fix it and make sure that it's in line with what you actually said. You don't have to do it on your own. You can outsource it to somebody and then import the uh, transcription into this part of YouTube. Um, the reason why this is important is because if you remember, guys, I mentioned there's going to be a bunch of places where you can utilize your keywords. And this is one of them. This is actually a killer, killer place because actually a lot of people don't know about it. Those who do know about it don't do it. And the reason why is it's because it is a little bit tedious if you do it on your own. And if you have a software or if you have somebody who can do it for you, and by the way, Fiverr is a great uh, place to do that, um, then it's not obviously tedious. And then you can just get in here. Um, and create a um, uh, transcription and basically make sure that everything is in there. So the reason why it says before you upload, write your keyword into your script two or three times because when you transcribe the video, you're going to have that keyword obviously inside that transcription which is going to help you to um, make, understand where to rank you and how to basically rank you and stuff like that. So basically, this is the idea. You're helping. Remember, we were talking about the mindset, right? And the mindset is we're um, using tools that Google provides for us, and they're providing those tools so we can utilize them on Google's um, territory, if you will. Okay. So while we're uh, using their tools, uh, they are of course gaining our accounts and gaining their market share in the social. Um, mar uh, basically market share in a social game or social t uh, platforms or whatever you want to call it. So this is why they're doing what they're doing and that's perfectly fine because they allow us to do what we want to do, right? Which is rank. So why does YouTube care where you rank and how you rank? Why do they help you? Obvious reason is because when you rank well, when your video is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, when your video is on page one and it's for, for instance, um, using a, a keyword that's that's getting a lot of attention. Obviously, YouTube is going to be making money off of that because they have advertisements of all kinds inside uh, these YouTube videos, and they want to make sure that a lot of people see it, see the video, because they'll be making money. So essentially, the mindset is you help Google, you know, gain the market share in the social um, war, so to speak. And, and specifically, you help YouTube make money, and in turn, they'll help you generate what you want to generate, which is views, exposure, leads, and all, and all sorts of things, okay? That's the mindset that you have to think 
and have when you're doing these things. This will help you tremendously because uh, understanding what you're doing and how you're doing it uh, is a very big part of this whole structure. So the reason uh, we're, I'm talking about this is, again, you need to describe to YouTube, you need to tell YouTube exactly what it is that you want them to rank you for. And the only way they understand is if they see the same keyword phrase in many, many places, and they'll be like, well, not, it's obvious. You know, their robots will obviously pick it up. It's obvious what this video is about. It's about YouTube ranking blueprint, okay? So before you make your video, please keep this in mind. You know, you want to talk the way that you talk. Just kind of include the keywords that you're trying to rank for in that uh, conversation, in that video. So the next thing is obviously the transcription that we spoke about, and then save your video file with your keyword in the file name, okay? Now, this is done when you're not using Google Hangouts. This uh, video optimization checklist is actually used for many things, and it was put together um, not for Hangouts. However, when I started using Hangouts, I, I took this thing uh, out. I kind of, uh, you know, brushed the dust off of it, and then I said, well, let me do this in addition to what, our, you know, what we've described in the first two days of this training and see what happens. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you um, great things happen because uh, obviously you are uh, completely in line with what we're speaking uh, about, which is basically... Let me see this thing. It's bigger. Which is basically... Um, the, the idea is basically that you are telling Google uh, and YouTube specifically, what it is that you are trying to rank for, okay? So this is not important because you're not saving any files. You're basically generating content right from the Google Hangout, but you can substitute this for the title of the Hangout, which we already covered. All right, upload your video. Again, the same thing applies. No need to do that. Give your video an engaging title. Use the keyword one or two times. This does help, guys. So basically, this would be uh, something like this. I want to rank YouTube ranking blueprint. So I would say YouTube ranking blueprint live training. You want to use more words around it. So it doesn't seem like you're stuffing the title on purpose. Live training, YouTube ranking blueprint, say, or something like this, day one, for example, live training, of, you know, then I would say, YouTube ranking blueprint strategies, techniques and strategies, right? it's something like this. Understanding. Okay, that's a long title, but it doesn't matter because the idea is basically to create the title that makes sense, that helps people understand what this whole thing is about, and of course use the uh, keywords that you want to use. Now keep in mind, obviously, this is a long tail keyword, right? You could try uh, rank your blueprint, and in your case, you may also have uh, long tail keywords, and sometimes this may be a huge title. Don't overdo it, right? Be kind of uh, smart about it. Be uh, uh, understand that while you you're working for two fronts, the first front is for the robots of YouTube, which are going to be reading into the code and understanding how to rank you. The second, no less important, guys, is for human beings who are going to be watching this. So if your title is going to be six pages long, obviously nobody's going to read it. Nobody's going to care for it. Uh, so you want to try to be a little bit catchy and a little bit short. If you see that your title is overly long by creating too many, uh, you know, by using the keywords twice, like I've just done, then don't do it. Use it once. See how it ranks first. And then if it doesn't, you can always come back and make these changes. These are not final changes. You can come back in the video uh, manager and edit anything you want, always, right? So this is just an example of uh, what those things mean. So give you a video, we've done that. So now, write a comprehensive description. Use the keyword at least three times. You also want to make sure that the keyword appears in the first line as close to the beginning of the description as possible. Now, why is that important? The reason for that is, obviously, when you watch YouTube videos, 
I'm going to leave this page uh, for a second and we'll come back. It doesn't matter which video. Um, you see this thing? This is what's called a short description, right? Before you click show more, there's only so many characters that this will fit. This particular uh, this, uh, space will fit. And it's always the same for everybody. So basically, you want to make sure that one of the first things that you do is put your uh, keywords here. That way, yet again, you're telling YouTube and obviously people what it is that you are trying to share and what this video is about. As you can see in this particular video, the title is basically in the description and they're not even bothering with pretty much anything else. Everything else gets, uh, gets uh, shared down there below. So, I mean, essentially, <clears throat> you want to be, like I said, uh, working for both fronts, which is the, uh, the robots and, of course, the uh, human beings like us who are actually going to be reading these descriptions, okay? So you want to say something like this. Uh, maybe I'm going to take this guy out, not to overstuff. By the way, saving changes um, is depending on what, what YouTube is doing at the moment because they're basically changing a lot of things as well. Sometimes you don't need to save changes. They save automatically. Um, sometimes you do depending on which page you are and stuff like that. So basically, just whenever you see this button, click it. If, you, if it's grayed out, that means it was saved um, either by itself or um, uh, you saved it just you know minutes ago, whatever the case may be. You haven't done any changes because as soon as we're going to be able to, as soon as we're going to change this thing, the save button is, of course, going to reappear. There you go. All right. So I'm going to put this in here. Understanding YouTube ranking blueprint techniques and strategies. Now I'm going to do something here to show you uh, so you don't spend and waste your time later on. I'm going to keep writing, and I'm going to show you why what you're seeing here in this box and what you're going to be seeing in that description, uh, the same as everybody else when the video is looked at, you know, from the other uh, point uh, of view, not from within your uh, video manager, is a little bit different. Sometimes, uh, if we, if you go, actually, let me try it here just to give you an example. So let's go look at our video right now and see. All right, so it didn't work. I'm gonna... By the way, you can edit it here as well. I just want to go into video manager because we're going to be there a lot and I need you to, to uh, see what I'm doing from inside. Oops. Edit. <clears throat> what I was trying to show you is this. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Where's that day one? That pesky day one. Somewhere, obviously, here. Um, can't seem to find a video. What I'm trying to say, I don't want to waste too much time on this thing. Uh, what I'm trying to say is when you write this description, basically, um, Keep in mind that as you write, the description is not going to look exactly the same uh, to the public. Um, here we go. This is a perfect example. I guess I should have just gone here. Um, you see how the first uh, line fit fine, but if I kept writing, which I did, it starts to go to the second line, and the second line doesn't go as long as the first one. It chops off at some point and goes down further. So keep this in mind when you're writing your description, when you're writing other things that I'll be uh, covering here, that there's a limited space here. There's a limited uh, character space here. And you want to basically make sure that um, you, you, you're you writing it in such a way which is understandable to 
which is understandable to uh, humans and of course uh, directly related to the YouTube robots so they understand that as well because they're reading the first three lines okay important stuff note it and use it wisely all right keep on going Got it. okay next thing Time chapters in your description, links to key points of your video. Okay, here's another opportunity, and a lot of people don't do it because they don't know, and a lot of people who do know don't bother to do it because they're too lazy. But again, the idea is to, to, to tell YouTube what you're trying to rank for, right? Listen, help them, and they'll help you. It's very, very simple. It's always very simple. Um, it's basically letting them know without being you know overly uh, stuffy with your keywords what it is that you are describing so in this video we're trying to rank for uh, YouTube ranking blueprint and we're also what it trying is. To, hold on. and we're also trying to tell YouTube that listen uh, because pretend this is a very difficult keyword to rank for so you basically want to know uh, you know you want to help uh, YouTube and Google understand um, and I'm going to repeat this over and over and over. I know I've been saying this, you know, a bunch of times already, but I want to drill it into your mind that the bottom line is to help them understand what you want to rank for. And the more difficult the keywords are, the more, uh, you know, the more important this is. So basically, you want to come here and you want to write your own description. You want to write, you know, a small paragraph of all kinds of things, blah, 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 blah. And then once you're done, you do what are called... Um, uh, what are they called? Um, time chapters, right? So let me show you. Let me see. Easier. It'll be easier to see if I have anything somewhere. <clears throat> I don't have it here. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Boris Sabransky. Alright, so the easiest thing for you to do, we can do it together now, is just Google it. YouTube video time chapters. Right, and it's very, very easy to do this. Uh, basically, you want to know how to put in video uh, chapters, add chapters to your YouTube video. You want to know how to do this um, inside your YouTube video. And it's very, very easy. You're going to basically write in this, the things that you want to rank for. And I just want to show you an example without I know I've got very quickly. And if it's not going to, we're, we're not going to, there we go. No, no, this is not real. This is not it. I'm going to check one more video. Oh, right. And if they don't have it, no, they don't have it. So basically, the idea is that you write uh, the the chapters inside your video, and these chapters automatically become links. Okay, so you want to say this something. What it is? To me. Okay, let's see. I just didn't want to do it from the beginning, but I'll show you. So you want to do it something like this. Let's say you, you look at your timeline right over here, right? Twenty-one minutes and five seconds. So you write. 21.05, I was talking about uh, YouTube ranking blueprint strategies. Now at, say, 27, or 37, doesn't matter, 37.15, I was talking about how to rank on Google page one. At 59.00, 13, and obviously you want to be exactly relevant as to what exactly you were saying. That's why I didn't want to go over this uh, in, a, in a way um, that I'm doing now, because realistically what you need to do is obviously listen to your own video, mark the point, and write in these basically time chapters. And you don't have, look, it's not about do I have to go minute by minute? No. You can create as many as you want or as few as you want. The idea here is to create content for YouTube and for people. Because what I'll show you in a second is going to be helpful for everybody 
and some people will appreciate it and of course subscribe to your channel just because of this which is again something that is going to help you rank I'll get, get into it a little later um, so and by the way you don't have to stuff your keywords in every single chapter you can talk about and here I spoke about uh, um, general structure of SEO, right? No keywords in here at all. All right, save. Do you see when you save that this automatically becomes a link? I haven't done anything. I haven't wrote, written in any HTTP or anything like that. This is something that's done automatically by YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Google, for giving us all these awesome tools and opportunities to utilize to help us rank, right? Again, we've just literally, this is actually a really cool example because we've literally Googled how to add chapters to your YouTube video. And these guys, the first two guys, let's see if this guy added them. The first two guys did not do it. We've seen it. That's, you know, if we, if we had them, yeah, this guy did it. There anyway, we should have gone a little further. So this is an example. And as you can see, not a lot of people do it. Even those who talk about it don't really do it. So this guy did it, and what happens is this. How is this helpful for human beings? Because if you click to 140, let's go back to our video. If I click to 3715, guess what happens? This thing jumps to 3715 and starts going from there. If I click on, and assuming I'm not in my video manager, uh, assuming that I'm just a person watching this video, obviously uh, this would be a little easier. Uh, uh, sip here. Here so we I'm go. Gonna pass it over to you, Alex. I and... jump to uh, 5913 immediately. Isn't this helpful? You break it down for people. If they want to skip all the nonsense because you have a long presentation and they don't care for the introduction, they can just go to whatever part they they're interested in. Or if they're coming back to this video the second time, of course they want to go to a specific part. They're able to do so by just clicking these things. However, not only are you being helpful to human beings, which again, I'm going to reiterate again that you want to be helpful to people by providing content and all this information, you're also helping YouTube robots understand what, is it, what it is that you're trying to rank for because you have more keywords here. So this is yet again another way of producing uh, keywords in a very official, non-stuffy way because this is part, this actually, if you read the YouTube Terms of Service, they encourage everybody to do time chapters. It's just most people don't. And they, I, we saw a great example when we actually searched for these things. Two of the first three people on Google, even though they're talking about it, didn't actually have them inside their videos. So like I said, even those who know about it don't always use it. So why not use it and gain an advantage? Okay? Moving on. Um, we've done the this thing, we've done this thing, we've done this thing. Quick time chapters. Use keyword as the very first tag and then use relevant keywords as other tags. And th that's what I basically said. The first, uh, I guess, uh, chapter, you want to use your keyword and then you want to use relevant keywords as well. Um, but it's also okay to do non-relevant keywords just because you're, again, keep in mind two fronts, right? Humans, robots. Okay. Choose relevant category and engage in thumbnails. So the relevant category goes to this part, entertainment. So you want to literally use a relevant category for a very simple reason to help people and YouTube. You see how many times we're going to go over this thing? Uh, understand and find you. So obviously this is not entertainment. I would either put this inside how-to style because this is how to rank or maybe education, or maybe people on blogs, because obviously this is people talking about uh, things regardless of what it is that we're talking about. So there's plenty of ways to choose uh, your category. And guys, don't get hung up on this, right? The idea is to be helpful to both fronts. I keep saying it, and uh, that's all. This, this is not going to kill you. This is not going to make you or break you if you choose the wrong category. It's just more helpful to everybody, which means it'll be easier to find you, it'll be easier for you to get ranked, okay? So, uh, let me get a sip of water here. Give me a second. Okay. Make sure in the embedded, embedding is enabled. This is found in all kinds of advanced settings. And here we go. Uh, if you go over to advanced settings, which is right next to basic settings, um, you'll have all kinds of things, including allow embedding. 
what that means is if your video, if we actually go to this video, you know, from a public's point of view, okay. and right click this thing, do you see it says copy embedded HTML? Okay? If I don't allow to, for this video to be embedded in places, I, when you right click, this option is just not going to be there. The reason why you want to have this is, again, for the same reasons that I keep going back and back to. YouTube wants to be able to provide this code to anybody who wants to put it on their blog, on their website, or anywhere. As a matter of fact, you want this thing to be uh, available because, remember, we were covering that yesterday. You are the one who is embedding it on your own blogs, right? So this is obviously uh, something that needs to be turned on, and uh, I believe it's turned on by default. Uh, I don't remember because uh, when you open a new account, you may want to go in here and save it once and for all, and I think it keeps keeps things as is. Um, but regardless, something for you to check because this is important. Because if you're going to embed this video uh, in your blogs uh, in using the strategies and methods we spoke about yesterday, obviously you need this thing to be allowed to be embedded. Right? Very simple, straightforward. Um, Make sure better is enabled. Okay, create at least three annotations. Subscribe, like, and see my channel. Okay, another thing you need to do is go to annotations right on top and create these annotations. Cook yourself a meal. What that does is allows. Do you remember? Um, well, we're, I'm going to do it now so you guys can actually see it live. But you might have noticed how you have these boxes pop up when you watch a YouTube video uh, that says, hey, you like my channel or whatever, right? This is what these are. These are annotations. And annotations help us, uh, again, help us gather um, things like more subscribers. They help us get uh, whatever it is that we want them to do. Um, they also allow us to use this place as another space for a keyword that you're trying to rank for, okay? Don't overdo it again in each section. Well, I shouldn't say each section, but there are plenty of sections where we are able to add keywords. So don't overstuff any one section, right? Uh, because there's so many different places to do it. So you can just pick a time, let's say 38 seconds, click Add Annotation, let's say Speech Bubble, and there you go. This is what it looks like. You can make it larger if you want. You can make it longer. You can put it anywhere on the screen for people to notice. You can change its color by saying, I want it to be uh, red. Um, I want my text to be white. And you start writing, hey, welcome to YouTube. ranking blueprint, okay? Or you can skip the hey, obviously. You can just say welcome. Now, what does that do? It basically makes people feel welcomed, obviously, right? If you're, oh, okay, that's great, thank you. Um, and it also allows you to basically uh, put in your keyword. And you can place it anywhere you feel like, and you can make it last for as long or as few seconds as you want to right over here. You can make it last for 45 minutes. You can make it last for, let's say, a few seconds. It's completely up to you. And then you can also link it. When you link it, it only allows you to link to the inside of your video, like the different part of your video. So you can say, hey, uh, you know, uh, welcome to, and then uh, to YouTube Ranking Blueprint. And then the next one would be, Let's put this baby here, and this is just an example. Uh, swipe. Advanced strategies. Right? And again, I'm not using any keywords anymore. Uh, i already done that. So I'm just trying to be helpful to people. Uh, I'm going to say link, and I'm going to say start linked video. Or, uh, I'm going to say video. And by the way, you know what? Let me do something else here. Instead of this, subscribe to 
my channel. And you say link, and you say subscribe. And then you provide the link to your uh, YouTube, enter your YouTube username to subscribe to. So it's very, very simple, right? So you, you get your uh, YouTube username, um, and then you basically put it in here, and then take away the open to link to a new window if you want it to stay inside the same window. And this will become, what did you say? Some, I don't remember what my username is, but whatever. Um, this will become whatever the channel is. Hold on a second. This will become a link to your channel, so people can literally subscribe. Right? So there you go. They're here. Now they can subscribe. You can actually put different links in here. However, all these links are only going to be taking you inside this channel, inside this video. They will not allow you to have links that take you outside of the video um, in this part of YouTube. I will obviously share stuff with you um, once we get to that um, in regards to going outside. But this is uh, something that you might want to do. Maybe another one over here. Uh, make like my video, whatever the case may be, the idea is just to have annotations and at least one of them to have the keywords, okay? So the next thing is upload the transcript uh, to captions, which we already spoke about. Um, the next thing is view, like, and favorite, uh, and comment on your video, use keyword in your comments. Okay, so you want to have views, comments, and likes on your video, and one of the ways to do this is basically either... Um, literally have really awesome content so people do this by default or you can actually buy views and stuff like that um, this is not exactly you know uh, within the TOS of course of YouTube however um, this is some things that we are teaching here are not within the TOS so um, you know I'm being as transparent um, as possible and letting you know exactly what it is and it's perfectly fine. If you do it correctly, um, this will help you and generate more views for your channel. And there's many other tools out there that will, that will help you do, do so. Um, I don't remember any of them right now. YouTube views. Giga views. All right, get thousands of views for free. <clears throat> whatever this means, I don't know, I, I, I'm not advoca advocating this page, I'm seeing it for the first time, I'm just letting you know that there's ways that you can acquire different views for your YouTube channel, and it actually helps um, your rankings as well, because what it does is, it allows YouTube to understand that people are liking it, they're viewing it, they're commenting on it, and because of that, uh, basically it allows you to tell YouTube that you are relevant that you are popular, so they need to move you higher and higher rankings so more people see you and they can make more money. So that's something that, um, if it's a very difficult keyword to rank for, that's something that I would tell you uh, to and look into yourself a meal. Uh, on your own because basically um, it helps, okay? When you do have different comments and such, which you can also purchase if they're not real, you want to reply. And when you reply, you want to put in uh, something like, hey, uh, uh, or not, hey, thank you for your kind words, for example, for your kind words. Fire. YouTube ranking blueprint. We've created YouTube black blueprint exactly for this to help people get leads and exposure for their videos, okay? Be real, be exactly, um, you know, be honest, and, you know, use your keywords, right? Again, don't do it in exactly the every response, but every now and then, you can do it. I don't, I, you don't have to do it in every comment. You, I, I would suggest not to. You don't want to be over stuffy. You want to be, you don't want to be, too obvious that you're literally stuffing this whole thing with keywords, right? But every now and then, use this opportunity, yet another opportunity, to use your keywords, which is great, because now you use it in many, many places, and we're going to continue uh, with other things as well. So basically, uh, as I said, 
view, like, and comment. All right, use other accounts that you have to view, like, and, and comment and favorite. Uh, so if you do have other accounts, you can definitely do so uh, by creating um, uh, likes and comments and favorites, uh, subscriptions to the channels, basically from those channels to your channel uh, or from your other channels to this channel. You can also ask your friends to do that for you uh, to help you get started. But bottom line is, guys, the idea is actually to create actual good content so that when actual people see it and use it, they'll be able to uh, like it so much that they'll, you know, give you that like, that they'll subscribe to, uh, to your channel. Because bottom line is, don't you want to get relevant leads? And if you want to get relevant and targeted leads, provide the information that the relevant and targeted leads that you're looking for are going to find helpful, right? So that's really the bottom line here. All right. Here's another thing. Um, if you're going to buy, this is a little bit of an insight. If you're going to buy views, if you're going to buy especially views, it's important that you make sure that you scout out uh, if these views are going to be watching these videos to the end. YouTube watches everything. If you buy views or even if you have your friends uh, come and view your channel and like your channel and they come, they like it and they leave and they don't play this thing or they play this thing for 10 seconds, it basically is not going to help you. It's going to hurt you because what's going to happen is YouTube is going to watch everything. It's going to watch how many uh, view this video, how many playbacks, what's the average view duration, right? You know that this video is about uh, an hour or something or over an hour long and obviously when you look inside your analytics it's showing that the average person views it for no longer than 22 minutes now that could be a good thing that could be a bad thing depending on how long the video is however it is an important factor for your rankings and most people don't know it those people don't understand it and even those who buy views just go ahead and blindly buy them well if you buy them blindly most of the views are going to come, they're going to watch a couple of seconds, and they're going to uh, leave at best, which is why you don't want to buy robot views, uh, because those really don't stay until the end of the video. YouTube watches these things. It's their way of fighting all this, uh, you know, uh, robot viewing, right? It's their way of knowing when robots watch it, and that means not real people, so they don't necessarily want to... Uh, promote you because they're seeing this, that this is happening. So this is something of a secret, of an insight that you want to keep in mind. And if you're asking your friends and if you're doing it from, from your other accounts, uh, you want to make sure that the video is watched in full or at least 75% of it, okay? All right, so make sure you watch the video completely through when you use your other accounts. Set up the CTA through AdWords video promotion. Now, basically, what you want to do, this is called, I'm not going to do it right now because it's a little bit of a, uh, a process, but I hope to show, let me see, do I have it somewhere? I doubt it because these are all test, um, test videos. Uh, just for the heck of it, let's see if anybody's using it. <clears throat> No, this guy's not. I see it already. And I'll tell you what to look for and all that good stuff. Nope, nothing here. Actually, wait, maybe. This is Tracy Walker, of course. All right, so this isn't the case. This isn't what I wanted to show you, but it's close. Um, you see how this advertisement basically has a pop-up, so to speak. You know, you can skip it. And... There you go. Now you can skip ad. If you go to Google AdWords and you set up an AdWords account, you can actually create what's called a call to action overlay. It's a little box that you can place anywhere at any given time uh, from Google AdWords to your YouTube account when you link those two, and it will give you a box similar to this one at any point in time in your timeline that's going to pop up just like this. Do you see this thing? That's exactly what you're going to have. You're going to have this box pop up and it's going to take you to the link that you want to outside of YouTube, okay? This is done through Google AdWords, and it is a paid advertisement, and you can set it to be even a penny or whatever the case may be. Um, again, I'm not going to go into this because it's a separate course altogether. However, this is exactly what you can set up in order to take people outside of YouTube. 
So this is very, very, very powerful because obviously if you use this correctly, you can actually not only give people content, but if you know push them to go outside of this video to your page, whatever the page may be, and all of a sudden, you know, you have something like this, which is a squeeze page or a landing page, and maybe they'll opt in, uh, which is one of the ways to collect leads through YouTube. That's not the only way, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what is possible. Because remember, when we do annotations, annotations that are inside our video, those links are going to take you only inside your own video. They're not going to ever allow you to go outside because YouTube wants you to stay inside. Okay, but when you use Google AdWords, which is obviously a Google uh, advertising platform, and you pay them to show these uh, um, overlays, um, then they'll be like, okay, well, listen, if we're making money anyway, regardless of how we're making money, because if somebody clicks on it, or maybe somebody views it, depending on how you say it, set it, uh, you, you basically, uh, they get paid, then they're okay with it, obviously. So, but you're also okay with it because that gives you an opportunity to take people outside of YouTube and, you know, even tell them, hey, now you see this box right there uh, that just popped up? Go ahead and click it, and that will take you to a place where you can collect your PDF, for example, um, and uh, have what I just spoke uh, about uh, in written form, just as an example, right? So, again, this is a very important tactic that you may want to consider. Of course, it's not free because Google AdWords account is something, it's an advertising platform, but it helps. Uh, and uh, you can set up your budget and you can do everything, you can control everything, so it's up to you whether to run it or not, okay? Uh, add your video to three playlists spread out over three days. So what does that mean? You literally create playlists. So you see this add to right here? You click add to and you have all kinds of playlists. So you want to create a playlist by clicking create playlist. And this is not available right now because you have to type in the name. So in this case, I would actually name my playlist YouTube Ranking Blueprint. Okay, create playlist. And it says video added to public playlist will be shared to your on your channel. Fantastic. Now I have this playlist which has one uh, video in it, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to actually add another one. Obviously, it's said to do so over three days, which is what you want to do. I'm going to add it anyway, just to, to, to give you an idea how this works. But basically, you click Add To. This video is already, I mean, this playlist is already created, so you just click on it again, and boom, now you have two videos in there, right? So you can add a note if you want to, and of course when you add a note, this is yet another opportunity to use a keyword, and of course the name of the, uh, the playlist was, uh, as you've noticed, you, uh, used with the keyword that we're trying to rank. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of places where you can create your keywords to help Google understand, and YouTube in particular, understand what are you trying to rank for. Now, you want to create three different playlists, and I believe it says here, Playlist one is running total of all your videos, okay? So if you're creating 100 videos, whatever they are, add them to, this, to the relevant playlist that you're trying to rank for. Playlist two is broad. So think short tail keywords. So when you create a second, <coughs> excuse me, playlist, you want to create something like YouTube ranking or something or YouTube blueprint or whatever the case may be. So if you were using it for, let's say, Empower Network, and you were trying to say make money with Empower Network, that was your long tail keyword, your short tail keyword would be Empower Network. So the uh, name of the list would be literally Empower Network. So the, the second playlist would be for videos, add other videos on YouTube to playlist two, meaning other videos, right? Other videos, not your videos, but relevant videos to this playlist. They are not your videos. Your videos go to playlist one. These are YouTube videos about Empower Network that rank very well on uh, YouTube, let's say page one, that you want to add to your second playlist, okay? And then the third playlist is going to be a general playlist, which is going to be uh, essentially about, let's say, making money, right? Because that's the general idea. Uh, uh, that you are going for with making money with Empower Network. And there, you're going to go super broad 
you're going to just add things that are semi, uh, not semi, but are relevant in your overall category, which is making money, but are not specific to making money with Empower Network, and are not specific to the keywords that you are actually trying to rank for, which is specifically make money with Empower Network. So you just add videos, for example, so, so like make money, uh, or that talk about make money. So now you have these three key uh, playlists um, that you can definitely utilize um, to your advantage in helping you do so. That's pretty much the end of this playlist, and I think I've gone pretty quick uh, through it. However, uh, I told you that there's a lot to cover, so that's why I've done so. Um, and I'll definitely send you this um, this playlist, uh, excuse me, this uh, PDF, so you can go over it one by one at your own speed. However, there's another thing that I'd like to add here as a bonus very quickly. So let's say YouTube ranking. Okay, this guy's on page one, right? Great. He's number one on page one. Watch me do something. Go here. This is not always going to be available because some people turn us off. I know how it feels to have your videos just... You go to... Nope. I think he turned it off. It looks like he turned it off. Let me see with another guy. <clears throat> As you can see, guys, a lot of people are using it, which is part of these tactics, which is part of the reason why they are on page one um, of YouTube. <clears throat> Actually, I might have been looking in the wrong place. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. All right. Some people have this hey turned off, um, so you can't really do it. So let me walk you through it real quick. This is actually... a uh, absolutely uh, under the table ninja tactic that I, I don't know how many people know about it, but it's very, very powerful and it works. And if you do everything that I described in this uh, video so far, in this hangout so far, and then you add this, obviously it will make it even more strong. So you go to the top video, top first, top second, you know, uh, top third and whatever keywords that you're looking for, and you can do this a lot, and you click on the name of the channel and you're going to get to this page, and then you look for something called discussion. Okay, this is a wall where discussions take place. And this is different from comments. All the comments inside, underneath the video, are just that, they're comments. This is a little bit different, this is a discussion. This page is actually extremely powerful. It's powerful um, in PR, which we discussed yesterday, it's also powerful in, in, in a backlink kind of way, okay, inside YouTube. So you want to actually be real. You want to listen to the video that the person actually shared here. You want to basically listen to what he has to say, hey guys. and then you want to reply or add comments about what he said, your thoughts. Share your thoughts, and if you can, and you should, which that's the only reason you're here, use your keywords. This is going to give you a massive, massive back, uh, backlink from YouTube. This is powerful stuff because this is the only place I believe inside YouTube that you can literally get follow links, uh, backlinks from YouTube, which is an immensely powerful website um, to your, uh, you know, for your keyword. You can put in your uh, um, link if you want, however, obviously a lot of people, if they see other people's links, they're going to be annoyed to say the least. They may even delete it. So what I try to do is I just try to listen and then put in my keyword that I'm trying to rank for. So you do this to enough uh, videos out there, to enough channels out there, it will give you such backlink SEO juice that uh, it's incredible. And again, very few people know about this because this is literally underground stuff that only people who spend their time truly trying to crack the code, so to speak, uh, get and understand and use. And let me see, see this yellow thing? This tells me that he probably has a CTA, which is the overlay. Uh, actually, he just turned on his 
uh, capsules here. This document, oh, yep, right, there you this go. document right here. So this is either you, yeah, this is ads by Google. So what this guy did is he, he said, I want to monetize my channel, which you can do as well. And this is the last kind of uh, golden nugget that I'll drop here. Um, this is basically when you monetize your channel, you tell Google, hey, I want to be able to uh, make money, and I am okay with uh, you guys, Google and YouTube, showing other people's ads on my YouTube video. And when people watch them and click them and view them, whatever the case may be, whatever you set it to be, I want to get paid. Obviously, you get paid pennies, but if this is a popular video that gets thousands and thousands and thousands of views, uh, you're going to get paid quite nicely. So now I'm going to wrap it up just about here. And I hope this was useful to you guys. Um, I don't mind taking a couple of questions, uh, you know, uh, if you have any. I know we've covered a lot, a lot of stuff, um, but this is pretty much uh, what you need to do in addition to the last two videos. And I'll obviously send this to you, um, to your emails. We'll have everybody's emails. Um, and uh, that's it. So that's pretty much it for me. So let me, first of all, Boris, I, I have to turn off my camera because I was writing notes and I was making notes. And I hope you guys did the same thing. My hand is so tired by just writing, 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 writing notes. And that's exactly what I was telling you earlier, guys. You know, for me, for the way I, you know, remember and the way I, the way I learn, I need to write things down. And that's the only way I'm going to, it's going to register in my head. So with that being said, Boris, first of all, this has been tremendously uh, underground, I would say definitely. I mean, guys, if you're not going to use this tactics, then then you definitely wasted your time being here for the past three days. Uh, um, I recommend strongly you do take action on it uh, immediately. Like, just like when you're trying to learn a bicycle, you want to get on it and drive it, or drive in a car. You've learned the car. You've you've got your driver's license. Sit in a car and drive. That's the same here, guys. Please do not waste this training. Learn it. You know, learn to teach. That's exactly what David Wood is teaching to us as well. And I definitely hope to hear some feedback from you guys. And I want you to please either. Uh, Post it on my wall uh, and tagging Boris because it's important that he is being recognized here. He is the teacher here. With that, um, I would like for you either to once again either put it on my wall and tag him or vice versa. I definitely want to hear your feedback, and we also want to see your uh, progress. That is imperative, guys, because. If you've been, you know, learning all this stuff and you've been practicing all this stuff and you've been getting some results that are that which you have never got before, we want to hear about it. So the other thing I'm gonna uh, pitch in here, Boris, and if you don't mind, uh, bring back your pretty face for me on the video. We'd like to see you. Um, no problem. So, <laughs> so uh, with that being said, what I'd like to also to tell you guys and share with you. Um, we would like to continue this series of trainings, Absolutely. and we're gonna probably not, we're not gonna do it every three days in a row. We not. This was the test, uh, uh, not a test, but this was like a something that we were testing, and uh, apparently it worked, and you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, so what we would like to do is we'd like to continue with a series of. Uh, Google Hangouts, live Hangouts would like to bring to you and uh, like for instance like this time it was Morris, maybe next time it's going to be Alex Zuber who's going to be teaching you stuff and, uh, and myself as well I'd like to teach you some uh, tips and tricks that have helped me with my uh, social life. Um, with that uh, I'd like to hear your feedback and I want you to uh, once again I'd like to see messages and I'd like to see wall posts. I want to see that. And uh, if you don't want to, any of those trainings, then also, again, if you don't make those posts to me or Boris or Alex, that means you don't want to hear from us and it's not important to you. So therefore, that's what I'm asking from you. Boris is going to give you this PDF. Uh, Boris, please uh, share with everybody how are you sharing this PDF for them. Absolutely. Well, with them. Because we have your emails, guys. Because you, we, you, you submitted to us your emails in order to join us in pages one or two. 
uh, will be I'll be emailing you and Alex will be emailing you and Anna will be emailing you all these things we can also um, maybe put a um, what we're gonna do Alex and I and Anna is gonna are gonna put together a Facebook group for this type of training uh, not only this training but all the trainings that are gonna be coming to you guys weekly starting next Tuesday on various topics so we're gonna set up a separate Facebook group which is gonna be private and it's only gonna be for those people who are going to be getting on our VIP list, and we're going to be sharing all kinds of incredible content. I hope you find this incredible because honestly, this is extremely powerful stuff. And the beauty about this stuff, as opposed to many other things out there, is that you really don't have any excuses not to get leads, not to do whatever it is that you're trying to get exposed for, because this stuff doesn't cost anything. The only thing you need to do is actually apply it, it doesn't cost you a penny unless you want to spend your money on the tools that I've recommended. But again, those tools are more for uh, making things go faster than to making them, period, right? So you can yeah. still go with zero cost. So what we're going to do is, again, Anna just uh, uh, beautifully described the fact that we're going to continue this unbelievable experiment, if you will, which we started three days ago. We got such an overwhelming response. Uh, all our inbox were just what you know overflowing with incredible amount of comments, uh, feedback, testimonials, which is great. We appreciate it. We hope you put this stuff to use, and we're going to open a uh, Facebook group where, in addition to obviously sharing the links and stuff like that, files such as this PDF will be shared as well. So we'll send it to you in an email. We'll create the group, again, notify you about this group through email or through different uh, pages like the events page or whatnot, and then we'll uh, have people join, and once you join the group, you'll be able to get these uh, files right there inside the group. So. And most importantly, actually, let me interrupt you really quickly. So in that Facebook group, what we want to see from you you know, I mean, interaction would be helpful because, you know, there, I've seen a lot of Facebook groups are being opened and people will try to enter them and just either try to cross-promote or cross-recruit or whatever it is they're trying to do. This is not what we're going to be doing. Uh, what I'd like to do and the main purpose of this particular Facebook group is to see your proof. Proof is in the pudding, like you would like to say here, right? So we're going to probably create a thread in that group and we're going to see your proof. Like, Boris ranked that particular video, the video number one, in 90 seconds. And whether you're going to have a proof of uh, ranking that video even on a page two of YouTube or Google, whatever the proof is, guys, we want to see it. Well, and then you'll be able to ask Boris questions right there and there yeah. about what it is that you did wrong and what it is that you need to be doing right, yeah. period. Absolutely. So you'll pretty much have access to uh, people like Alex and Anna uh, and, uh, and myself inside the group, which is... I mean, honestly, there's, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not even going to say priceless. That's just, that's, you know, people like Alex and Anna, you know their story. Uh, you heard what they've accomplished so far, and that is not even close to where they're going. So having access to people like that is just like, I mean, I, there's, there's no, it's priceless, to say the least. So um, something that I also might uh, encourage you to do, if you guys have not, connected with us by, you know, through Facebook, for example, go ahead and send us friend requests, and that way we'll have access to you as well, so that when we communicate with you, we'll be able to do it very easily, because we'll be connected on Facebook, you'll be able to ask us questions, and so well, on. Yes, and let me rephrase by us communicating with you, the way I'm going to communicate with you guys is by me creating Facebook invite, and I'm going to invite you there. That's how I'm going to communicate. I'm not going to post it on my wall. This is a little, uh, to my to my understanding, like a little lame technology way. Uh, my wall is for my personal posts and for my personal life, if you will, or some progress in my life or people I appreciate and adore. So therefore, once again, we I will be creating um, Facebook invites the same way you got my note this time to get into this training on Tuesday. Same thing on Wednesday, same thing for today, which is Thursday. I'm going to be creating Facebook invites, so absolutely it's imperative that uh, you uh, friend me and make sure you 
when you get that notification and Alvina Zuberov had sent you a Facebook invite for such training, you're going to click join and it's going to appear. Uh, one other helpful tactic actually that helped me guys uh, to on certain levels of this and that's just like something that you can do for us as a uh, as a payback of what we have given you whenever you see my invitations what you can do is you can replicate them very easily you don't you, you don't have to create them from scratch all you have to do when you click the join and you go back to your events on Facebook all you have to do is click there's like a little star on the right hand side that can tell you you could either share it which it's gonna go on your wall or you could replicate it and that way you're gonna change certain aspects of the text and obviously make sure it's gonna uh, appear properly for the time zone you are located it's very important guys because we are at Eastern Standard Time and if you don't click the time in your invite it's gonna appear for whatever time probably you're in right there or some bogus time which is it's, it's gonna you know throw off some people out of the loop but it's just small you know small but important note so that's what you, what I'm asking for you guys to do is uh, once again when you get my invites please invite others who are friends with you on Facebook because we want to give that knowledge to everybody not just you and then we want to share it with everybody else yeah, absolutely so yeah absolutely uh, guys I hope this was helpful for you I hope this was uh, information that you can literally put to use today uh, because that's exactly what you should be doing. You should be doing uh, what we've taught yesterday and you know using it uh, and in addition to what you've learned today and stuff like that. So hopefully this was helpful and it will definitely, if you use it correctly, it will get you leads that are not only you know leads because nobody needs leads for the sake of having them. We want them to convert to whatever it is that we are offering. And when you're out there providing the information that you are providing, the relevant content, your content is going to drive in relevant people who are going to want to get more information from you, want to follow you, and so on and so forth. And this is a brilliant way of doing that. And in addition, you're getting exposure for yourself. And if you're, even if you're an offline consultant, you, you know, this is great for your uh, clients. If you're an online marketer, obvious. I haven't have to explain this to you. Very obvious. So again, hopefully this was helpful. I look forward to getting more uh, feedback from you guys. I look forward to getting uh, testimonials, hopefully some uh, success stories or even failures because we, there's no such thing as failure to begin with, right? Whenever we don't get what it is that we're looking for, that means that we've attempted it and it didn't work out. So we need to move and try it in a different way. So if you're not getting to page one or whatever the question that you may have in relation to this training, once this Facebook group is going to be created, you're more than welcome to ask questions, share this information and success stories among yourselves, and of course ask us or anybody who is experienced enough in SEO, uh, or at least social SEO, to help you with that as well. It's just yeah. all for co uh, complete value and you know allowing people to grow and get what it is that they're looking for. That's it. Absolutely. Well, once again, thank you, Boris, so much for this generosity. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to many, 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 many more trainings with you. All right. Starting All next right. Week. All right. All right, guys. See you Have then. a wonderful. Uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. That's what I wanted to say. Talk to you Bye. soon.